hello all in this video we will see the solution to for the blue screen problem for with the remote desktop on raspberry pi 4 hardware on bullseye operating system i am using a raspberry pi image to write the 64 bit operating system onto sd card in the same way under the settings we can use the give provide the host name ssh enable username as spy and password as raspberry anything you can give and then wi-fi auto connect all settings are done in the raspberry pi image here and uh, sd card is written uh, with 64 bit os let us use the uh, putty ssh client to login using the username pi and password as raspberry uh, raspberry ls forward slash home slow sh it shows that we are having only one user pi now let us update the software sudo apt update update is working fine N next let us install the xrdp for uh, remote desktop sudo apt install xrdp now xrdp is uh, fetching data from the raspberry pi repositories and xrdp is being installed as it is 64 bit operating system the fetching there is no problem with the fetching of data from the repositories xrdp is uh, installed now open the remote desktop uh, login using the host name raspberry pi use the username as pi and uh, password is raspberry pi open the remote desktop now you are not getting the desktop there is only blue screen the blue screen remains as it is and you are not getting the uh, raspberry pi's desktop on the uh, remote this uh, remote window it is plain blue screen but we are using the same setting as we did for the raspberry pi 3 in the as in the previous video for raspberry pi 4 it is not working now let us see the solution ls forward slash home shows that there is only one user pi now let us use the second uh, uh, let us add the second user sudo add user and then the username i am providing it as als electro you can give any uh, name and then provide the new password and then repeat the password for the new user after that you you can provide the full name and other details this is optional click on s for the information is correct now ls forward slash home shows that there are two users one is the pi and the next is the new user next thing is we have to add the new user to the sudo group for that use this command sudo add user and then the new, new username which is als electro and then sudo that is adding the new user to the sudo group next we have to do the settings in raspi config so that the new user can uh, log in uh, let us clear the terminal using clear command you go to raspi underscore sudo raspi hyphen config go to boot forward slash auto login that is in the next page boot forward slash auto login select boot into desktop and then select desktop GUI that is username to login new username to login after this setting is over click on finish and then click on ok for reboot you have to reboot uh, for uh, the things to get effective now open the putty window new session and login using the host name that is the raspberry pi use the uh, username now you have to use the new username we have given the new username as als electro now login as uh, with the new username and the new password instead of pi i am using the new username now it is logged in let us try the remote desktop click on remote desktop connection login using uh, raspberry pi that is the host name and the xorg window opens 
provide the uh, username as uh, new user do not use the old user pi use the new username and the new password and then click on ok now the remote desktop will try to connect with the raspberry pi desktop the blue screen has gone and the actual uh, desktop is appearing so this is a solution for the problem in raspberry pi 4 but in raspberry pi 3 it works normally this is not required thank you for watching